and welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones. Now, tonight, we find out how low pay in the courier business is being blamed for unorthodox... How a horse travels around the world. But our guests tonight are bringing us into the world of Wolf Hall, a costume drama that promises to be the most accurate portrayal of the Tudors since Tudor times. One plays Queen Anne Boleyn and the other is the Queen of BBC History programmes. Please welcome Claire Foy and Lucy Worsley. <laughs> Wonderful to see you both. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, nice to have you both here. Now, Claire, you are glowing with pregnancy. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. the question has to be, I mean, are you under pressure to produce a male heir? Because Constantly. let's be honest, it didn't end well for Anne. Very much. Yeah. Um, now, Lucy, you've been quite vocal. You've said um, that you don't think the actress playing Lady Jane Seymour, um, called Kate Phillips, is is not... <laughs> you think she's too beautiful to play the part, basically, because of I a was, large forehead. <laughs> I was joking a little bit, I have to admit. But, but you didn't say anything about Claire, so need she be worried? Oh, well, she she ought to, really, because Anne Boleyn was notoriously not beautiful. I'm sorry. It's I'm all right, sorry. don't worry. Take it on the And the attraction was all in the personality and the fiery yeah. wit of the woman. Shall we move on? Yeah, yeah, let, let's move on. Now, uh, more on Wolf Hall a little bit later when Lucy will reveal the truth about Damien Lewis and his surprisingly small codpiece. Oh. First, this Christmas, many of us face an anxious wait for our internet shopping to arrive as delivery firms struggle to deal with huge backlogs. Well, as more and more people order online, couriers have turned to cheaper temporary labour to cope. And here's Dan Donnelly to tell you more. Well, thanks, Dan. And Anita is here now to tell us more on this subject. So, obviously, we, I mean, we saw Martin there working at some rate to make money. He'd have to, wouldn't he? Yeah. He's got no choice. Now, yeah. do all delivery companies pay the same to their self-employed drivers? Amazingly hard slog. And in terms of these lifestyle couriers, then, and couriers in general, I suppose, do they have to be checked before they can deliver the parcels to your door? Well, Hermes told us... CJ, who was responsible for helping you get your money back? Often try and blame yeah. the delivery company, don't they? Yes. Um, ladies... Any horrors on the delivery front, especially at Christmas time, because there was quite a backlog, wasn't there, Lucy? Mm. Well, I think it's funny these days, you see all the people coming home from the office with their internet. It's, well, it's not in the middle of nowhere, but it's set in a massive park. Click and collect, though, because that's the new trend in yes. it now, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Click and collect, Amazon lockers. Uh, Get a bit of human interaction going, <laughs> that's what I say. Uh, now, uh, tomorrow sees the beginning of the biggest costume drama for years. Wolf Hall shows the rise and fall of King Henry VIII's second wife, and Boleyn through the eyes of Cardinal Wolsey's right-hand man, Thomas Cromwell. Now, in the first episode, Anne is upset that Cardinal Wolsey has failed to secure with the king a divorce so that she can marry him. <laughs> oh. yeah. it's, it's very hotly anticipated. Why do you think that is, then, Claire? Bella cast as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it really is. Well, do you know yeah. what? When we get, you know, big actors on the show, we get to watch the, the first episode, and we I did that yesterday, and Mark Rylance is ju he's so believable. Mm, he is. I think that's what I, 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 you know, you say it's it's true to type, but it is very real as well, and it almost feels like you're in the room at times, because yeah. it is so believable. But then quite vulnerable at other times. I mean, what was the main characteristics that you brought to her? What was the things that stood everyone dead? Yeah. Um, which I sort of found a bit of an odd thing. We've got some of the costumes in the studio, which must have been underwear and all of oh, that. Oh, it took hours. It took hours to get ready. How yeah. long to get dressed? Before? Such an intelligent woman. Yeah. And there has been some controversy around the size of the cod pieces. Now, Matt <laughs> tried Daniel Lewis's on earlier on. With great difficulty. He said it was a bit small. Um, Claire, were you aware of this controversy? Um, no. In empty prominent, so... Yeah. Um, I mean, Lucy, you've got a big smile on your face. Um, yeah. what, what, what do you want to say on the subject? I think they are a little on the small side. There you are. Yeah. But I think that's for the very good reason. This is not at all a camp over the top. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. When I watched it, I didn't notice them at all, which is obviously well, the point, because point. Yeah, you yeah. are... And I did. I found it incredibly real. And if you are a fan of Wolf Hall, or you just... I don't know, you may want to see the God pieces. Well, the first episode <laughs> starts tomorrow. It's on at 9pm on BBC Two. Now, it's thought that Henry VIII was a horse racing fan himself and loved to ride in jousting competitions. Pity the poor horses when he was so big, of course. Yes, well, uh, these days, the world's thoroughbreds are treated like kings themselves. And they travel in style too. Um, and Lucy, you were lucky enough to visit the set whilst they were filming. Uh, we've... And that race is in March, but uh, news on Toast of New York has recently been born by a Qatari gentleman yes. and he's going to be ridden by Frankie Dettori. Yeah. So we'll all be That's keeping it close. News, oh, 
Yeah. Well, horses feature in the new series Pets Wild at Heart, made by the team responsible for some of the most extraordinary nature. Working on a brand new project. That's right. It's taken you 18 months this yeah. time. I'm holding a hamster. Oh. This is uh, come on, John. Why, why were you filming hamsters? Well, it's, it's extraordinary. And um, we've got a plate of food here. This favourite, Hampy's favourite little snack. Right, so I don't know I'll whether pop it down here just we can, so that we see, can this see it home. And let's see, now. see see what happens. Yeah, yeah, she loved the laptop. Oh, now, one incredible bit of kit that you did use was this camera that can film the air around us, John. Yeah, it's extraordinary. It was, it was a huge contraption we had to build, but it did the subtlest thing, it was Jake's or any approaching mm -hmm. predator. They can actually see in murky water through ripples alone. All down, you know, they filmed those water. Well, the, you, filming those water currents, filming those smells. And as well as the, the fish and, and Hampy the hamster here, we've got the budgies. So what did you point? Because I'm sure colour isn't the first thing that springs to mind when you think of a of a bird's senses. Well, we we look at our pets through our own eyes and through our own senses. Brilliant. Thank you very much, John. Uh, you can see just how amazing your pet really is on Pets Wild at Heart tomorrow at eight o'clock on BBC One. And a big thanks to Hampy and all of the oh, other animals, even the star. fish. Let's not leave you out as well. Now uh, <laughs> on the menu at a Tudor feast uh, were such delicacies as raw deer, herons, and goslings, with 200 kitchen staff cooking for hundreds of guests. Now imagine how. Oh, imagine, happy. Imagine how stressed the chef would be. One bad meal and it was off with his head. So we sent Michael Douglas to help out at the modern equivalent. As a as a jobbing actress back in the day, did you do the waitress thing? I did. I did it all, and I was terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, of leave. course, terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, and it's the fi uh, five hundredth anniversary of Hampton Court, isn't it? It's this a year. pretty big birthday. Will there be events like? Claire, Lucy, thank you so much for your time this evening. Uh, Wolf Hall begins tomorrow at 9pm on BBC Two. And tomorrow we meet the 93-year-old World War II hero whose incredible life story we guarantee will inspire you. And fellow guests, Ross Noble and Fern Britton, we'll see you just before 7 o'clock. Have a lovely evening. Bye. Good night. Thanks. Thanks.